Go to easymutt.com. Use code CUTE for 10% off right now. There's a link down below me buying coins step by step. Or you can even buy points now. The new technology. It's banned free. Stop gambling your money. All right, guys, we're back. Top 10 budget beasts. You know how many videos we do on here, guys? If you have any question about building your mutt team, look at these thumbnails. These are the videos on this channel. Anything you need to know, it's here. So subscribe if you're new. Hit the like buttons. I didn't waste your time. Right here, we're here, Luke. Get this guy as your middle linebacker. His speed is still fine. He's six foot three. You like to see that. And guess what? He gets 90 zones. If you leave him by himself, He's going to be fine in coverage. Now, having 90 block sheds is going to help against the run. He's going to get good animations. And yes, he even gets alert artists. So yeah, Luke is on the list. Guys, we got Jack here. And Jack is that guy. 92 speed, 90 zone. For his price, that is a great value. You're going to love it. Now, go get him with over 90 jumping. This guy here is going to get threshold. He's going to be just fine for his speed and his thresholds and his hit power. He's a great value. Andrew is next here, and what a pass rusher he is. His speed in Excel is nice. Now, having 90 finesse is what you want. That's the highest threshold, get the best animations. And guess what? His traits are wonderful because you do not throw the power move. With that being said, that is important because his power move is trash. Blocks had over 90. What does that mean? That means he's gonna help get off those blockers and get that running back down. Now. What ability do you put on him? None of them. None of these abilities are worth it. Please do not waste your AP. Put it on like a pick artist, lurk artist, deep out zone KO, something like that, but not one of these abilities. If you're looking for that budget tight end, here you go. Over 90 speed, six foot four is big enough, but he hits the thresholds for catching traffic and spec catch. What does that mean? It means to be reliable in the red zone when he gets hit, which is what you want. So this guy here for his price and his threshold, he's gonna be a great value. What should you put on him? Absolutely nothing. Do not waste your AP. He didn't get no great discount. So if you put AP on him, you're gonna be overspending for something that's not really effective. Now you're saying I want the best value for the best speed and this is your answer. 93 speed for 70K as good as it gets because he has 90 break tackle that's the highest threshold for break tackle it means he's going to get you good animations just remember he's under 200 pounds you're not going to run this guy up the middle or you're going to get ran over he does not truck and he does not get good stiff arm animations but get him to the outside and throwing screens to him you're going to love his speed for his price waddle is here and 93 speed for 80k is nice and he doesn't hit the top tier thresholds Often, he only hits it one time for the deep route running threshold, so that should fit your scheme, right? Look at your team, look at your scheme. So, this should be your deep route runner on a budget team because his deep route running is insane with the animation because of the threshold. Now, this guy here is going to be a must-have if you're building a budget team. Up next, guys, we got Julius here. 92 speed with the 90 zones. If you're running zone at 6'3", this guy is going to be a must-have. For a budget team, you're asking what should I put on them? You could put deep end zone KO, that would be sweet. Depending what kind of coverage do you run off and right? So obviously in a cover three that could fit, or do you put him in a flat zone? Where do you put this guy? It depends on what you call. But yeah, flat zone KO, like in a cover two would be nice. Go we'll give him a chance. I really do like this Sean Taylor card. Over 90 speed, six foot two, and he has at 90 zone and over 90 hit power so this guy here can get you a fumble and blocks have been over 85 is the second highest threshold he's gonna help against the run so the speed his zone his hit power and his size he's a great value now ken's a little more aggressive than you think here this guy here i had him for a while of course i moved off of him now on my god squad but he's on my budget team i have two teams and this guy here jumps routes i do like ken is he the biggest? No. Do you want him in a jump ball situation? Not really. He's under six foot. But like in a flat zone, something like that, it's not going to be really like a jump ball area. You can really leave this guy there. And this guy here is going to be just fine. Uh, I will say, you know what? Something about him is a little unique. He has crazy hit power for a cornerback that can actually get you a fumble. So 
This guy here is going to be a little bit better than you think. Deep out zone KO is a great ability for a budget player to even get. And he gets... Guys, you know we couldn't go without talking about DJ. 94 speed for under 70k is just stupid. Even as a kick returner, this has to be your guy. Put him in a slot. Hopefully he gets matched up on a third cornerback that's a little bit slower than the other team. And put him on a streak and watch him run. Let this guy fly. Or throw a screen pass to him or just put him on a drag just use them that way i would not really put them in like a route running situation route running is not that great but i will say on a straight line speed he's worth the he's worth the price there's only one answer now if you want a budget quarterback guys you're going to be spending so many coins to get somebody better than him if you're wondering i do have a top 10 quarterback list and it will explain everything to you for, about him and all the new quarterbacks. But for his value, he has good speed, he hits the thresholds, and his release is actually fine. It's nothing, it's not Lamar, but it's not trash. So there you go. And to get set feet lead for free, this is gonna be your best value. And I'm gonna tell you right now, uh, the cheapest quarterback that gets set feet lead of the okay release is Troy Aikman, and this guy's better than Troy Aikman. So really, this is an amazing value. If you're saying, well, who should I get besides him? You really shouldn't unless you plan on spending a lot of coins. The next big upgrade over him you would really notice as far as like a release would be Andrew Lott. Rodney Lott is that guy. Put him at cornerback actually, and you're gonna love him. 92 speed, 90 man, 90 zone. He's gonna play wherever, however you want. He has over 90 jump. This guy here throws hit sticks. He has hit power. He has zone KOs and man KOs. So however you want to use him, he's ready to be used. That was a top 10 budget beast. Thank you for the support, guys. Up next, we have the top 10 wide receivers coming out today and the top 10 theme teams. You know, we do three videos every day here. I'll see you then. Over at easymutt.com right now, guys. New technology. You can buy the points at 50% off and get an additional 10% off when you use my code. So what are you waiting on? You can still buy your coins or the points, whatever you want. Go save your money. Save NBAMT.com. You enjoy 2K24 right now. Get 10% off using code CUTE. Go get the player you want. Go build the player you want. Look at these prices. They're absolutely ridiculous.